Hi, this is Adam Kunzmiller, and I'm with Board Game Geek, and I'm joined by Teo Riviere with Hurricane, and we're here to talk about Nagaraja. Yeah. So, what is Nagaraja? Uh, Nagaraja is a brand new two-player game. Oh, I could say with Bruno Catala. I, I then it rings a bell or two. <laughs> so that's a competitive two-player game. Uh, we take the roles of adventurer, mm -hmm. and by a matter of fact, we both discover a temple. Oh, okay. There are the twin temples. Nice. And, uh, because we are both as we're going to try to explore it as best as possible. Sure. And better than you if I can. Right. Uh, the goal of the game is to collect some artifacts, mm -hmm. or some victory points. The first player to collect 25 victory points is the winner. Okay. There's also another way to win. You can collect cursed artifacts, just like this one. They worth six victory points, which is quite a lot. But if you ever collect... Something tells me there's something not all safe three about of them, them. you immediately lose again. So it's always a matter of balancing. Do I want one? Because that's a lot of fun. Do I have one mm -hmm. or two? But never flow. Uh, the way that you play the game is pretty easy because we're going to bet from some, for some tides, mm -hmm. things like that, using this kind of cards. So at the beginning of the game, we will, we will all have five cards. Oh, wow. That's very easy. Base. There are two main information on the cards. First, the number of sticks that I can choose to match that you want, and maybe an ability. On my turn, the first thing that I do is, starting with the player with the compass, I choose as many cards of the same family, so looking for this symbol, as I want. So the top I, left? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I put them down on the table. During this step, we only look at this information. We don't care about this ability. Okay. We're only looking about this stuff. So you... I pick some, you pick some too. Sure. We flip it up. And then we roll the special dice. Let's do it, for my example. Oh. Mm. Nice. You can move on this one. I reroll it. Alright. I'm gonna cheat just a little bit for my level. So we look at how many points do we have. You have seven, you have six, seven, eight. So in this case, we will win the tap. Okay. I will come back to that later. But prior to that, we can choose to trigger the ability of the tie, of the cards. Of How do we do cards? that? Or no, of the cards. In our hands. In order to do that, we simply turn by turn, discard one of the symbol, play a card, trigger his ability, and then go to the player. We go back and forth until we all pass. Then we look who will win the, the, uh, the tie. Let's say, for example, that I play this card, and I've got plus two. So now I'm winning, mm -hmm. and you're losing. So maybe you have to play something. Ah, I got it. As soon as somebody wins, we just discard the card that we play. And this player takes the tie, put it on his temple, starting from the entrance. So they can start from any one of these lower yeah. entrances? And then connect to the other tile. If you ever make a straight path from the entrance to an artifact, you just flip it over. Flip it over. Makes sense. When the turn is over, the loser will get the compass. He also uh, draw three cards, mm -hmm. keep one for him, and give the, uh, keep two for him. So we give the other. And give the other one to the turn. Then we go back and forth until one player collects 25 victory points. So it's a race to 25 or not getting cursed. <laughs> if we take a small moment to look at all the effects that we can trigger, some of them we allowed you to reroll the sticks to give you bonuses in order mm -hmm. to collect the tax. Some of them good in the box. We'll allow you to draw some cards. Maybe you will play with the ball, so like flipping tiles or oh, nice. switching yeah. some tiles. And you also have some effects that allow you to look at... If this was somehow flipped to this, would this get flipped back over? Yeah. Absolutely. Which is a good way to, like... To handle curses. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last thing, you have some bad effects. In like aggressive effects. Sure. Easy to understand because they are red. If I play this kind of stuff, it's directly targeting you. So this one is up. getting rid of two of any yeah. two that you want. Yeah. And last, some effect will allow me to do on my board or on your board. This one allows me to look at one mm. of the treasures. So maybe I will try to find a good one for me. Right. Or maybe try I will to find try a to curse find one. a curse one for me. Cool. Not to shoot them. 
awesome. And that's basically the game. And how long does a typical game take? Between 25 and 35 minutes. Awesome. Longer for the first game because you have to understand all the effects, but then when you're used to play, it can, it can be pretty quick. Very cool. And is this widely available, coming soon? No, it will be released uh, at the beginning of next year during Cannes Fair in France. Oh, nice. Uh, so around February, maybe March in the US. So the first quarter of next year. Yeah. Well, thank you again, Theo, for yeah, talking to welcome. us about Nagaraja.